All right, this recording's for Adam, so he can see how I run this at the house. Uh, as you can see in the garage, I've got a Dell 745 running Windows Home Server, basically as a file sharing machine, also does backups. Um, my house is fully wired, so if you're looking at doing this, I would recommend wiring over wireless. Also, the Ubuntu box you're going to see in just a second is hardwired. <clears throat> Coming inside, you can see tablet. Very much an Android tablet as Android tablets go. Kind of like a giant phone. This is an Android 10-inch tablet made by Zen, I think. Uh, here, run-of-the-mill China 10-inch tablet. Uh, as you can see, XMBC app, and this is the remote for XMBC controller. Uh, up on the television, 42-inch Panasonic plasma, and another Dell 45, 745 box. Back to the remote. Basically, going to turn it on from here. Did not like me very much. So, turning on the Ubuntu box from there. Usually, if the connection's fresh, it will allow you to turn off and turn on from there. So, um, running DVI from HDMI conversion to the television. You can watch the Ubuntu box boot up pretty quick. Does it roughly at about 20 seconds or so. Um, you should see the screen pop up here any second. I have it set for auto login. This isn't really uh, an installation video, just more of a what it looks like when it's working video. So, uh, this is going to auto log in to an XPMC shell. It's kind of hard to see with all this glare. So, XPMC fully loaded. Took about a little bit longer than I expected 30 seconds or so. Um, remote. Remember your giant tablet. Going to connect. As soon as you connect and the box is actually running, you end up with more options. These are essentially the options that match on the screen. Um, looking very much like that. TV shows, again, all of this is set up here. Options. Not exactly going to go through configuration. But what you do want to see, me using this as a remote, does the same thing. Very hard to hold this. And do this at the same time. Let's see if I can get it to change while you're watching this. There you go. Okay, into the cooler part of this. As the thing is on there, this is a back button for my tablet. So, something that's interesting, go to watch movies, it will populate all of the movies I have in my library. As you can see, there's a couple of them. Let's pick something neat. New movie, Despicable Me. Launches up here, you get all the metadata. Summary, cast, pictures, all linked from uh, IMDb. At the top you can kind of see a rating from IMDb. Uh, this is a little bit slower as I have it loading on my tablet, which is not exactly the fastest thing on the planet, but it does fairly well. As you can see, it loads up 
also the fan art, things like that. If I hit play movie down here at the bottom, which is fairly hard to read, play movie, auto loads on the screen, and jumps right in. Pretty amazing stuff. So, as you can see when it's playing, the screen changes. I get the run, stop, play commands down at the bottom. Also, this is a taskbar for playing. If I drag it across, jumps the movie. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna go back up a second. As you can see, it doesn't affect anything while I'm doing this. Most of them are populated in now. You get some character screens and names. So I'm gonna go all the way back to the first screen. Uh, basically watch TV shows. Got a couple in here loaded. You can see as they start to load in, they fill in in a bar menu. All of this again is pulled from TVDB. So, not very nice. Um, Gossip Girl. Girlfriend watches it. So, let's watch The Manly Show. Sons of Anarchy. Pulls out all the seasons. From in here, it then pulls down just like the movies. Looks on all of these things. If I click on last year, last week's uh, season finale, it goes through uh, season three, episode 13. Again, similar idea. Pulls down all the information. Works pretty well. So let me go back, and I'm going to use this as a remote. Again, not very interesting. Kind of just looks like a basic remote. I'm going to stop the movie, which stops the movie, kicks me out. I'm going to show you what it looks like right here. So, we're going to go back over to the television just to get a little bit of a cleaner look. And while you go through here, I click on television shows again to something really similar. Pops up. You can see the fan art, Gossip Girl, How I Met Your Mother, Modern Family, all the great shows. So we're gonna actually go back. I'm gonna show you what it looks like for movies. Um, I run the fan art one. This is just the standard screen. So you can see as I scroll through. Everybody loves Clockwork Orange. This is for Willits at work. Um, definitely pulls all this down. Uh, we're going to leave it with a clockwork orange. Definitely some things to note. Uh, I do run a gigabit ethernet throughout my house, so data speeds are not a problem. I do, however, if you looked in the garage, have all of my media stored on USB 2.0. So it doesn't appear that read-write is the issue, um, as well as data transfer, so all things seem to be working pretty well, um, even on older technology. My Dell 745s are about six years old, so uh, this is it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Cheers.